name is Kelly Kelso and today I'm going to show you how to add your blog feed to your Weebly web page. To show you here what I'm talking about, you'll notice that right over here on the right hand side of my page I have added um, an area where I have my blog post and these are showing the most current feeds from that post so that a viewer would be able to access those posts right from my Weebly web page. So, two things will have to happen. I need to have my Weebly opened in edit mode, just like I have here. And in a new tab at the top, you need to have your uh, blog page opened as well. Since I already have this on the current page, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to move to a different page. And I'm just going to come down to the bottom of this page. And what we're going to do is you'll see over on the left hand side where we have all of our tools. Down at the very bottom, under the More section, there is an area called, or a, an icon called Feed Reader. I just simply want to drag that down to the bottom of my page. It will take a minute for it to load. And now I will scroll down and see that by default it puts CNN.com as the feed. But I want to change that to be my feed to my blog. So I'm going to go back to my blog. I'm going to scroll to the bottom of the page. And at the very bottom you will see, um, and I'm in Blogger, so you see that I'm using Blogger for my blog. I'm going to find the RSS feed at the very bottom where it says subscribe to and I'm going to click on posts where it says Adam right here. What this does is it opens up the page and this is my feed for the blog. So I simply will copy the URL up at the top. I'm going to press Control C on my keyboard to copy that. Of course you could right click and click copy as well. I will go back to my Weebly site and now anywhere in this box I'm going to click and this little box is going to pop up. I am just simply going to erase out the URL that is here and I'm going to paste. I can right click and paste or you could press Control V and paste as well. And now when I click back off the page it will refresh and here is the uh, feeds to my blog. Now you can notice that this is a very narrow and the, the space here is actually very wide so depending where I put this on the page and where I locate it if I click again notice I have some options over here at the, at the right. On the uh, width and the height I can actually change it. I could change it to large uh, maybe even a hundred percent because I want it to take up the whole page. Uh, it depends on what you would want that to look like. Uh, the position. I can center it. I can put it on the left or the right. And it just depends on, again, what you want there. You have some spacing options for the top and the bottom margins. And there's some advanced features as well. The number of items showing right now is four. I believe on the front page I put six. And the text length was short, but I can change that. I can change it to medium or I can change it to, to long or full and once I've done that it should change to where uh, once I go to view this Weebly in live mode I would be able to see those down there. So that is how you add a blog feed to your Weebly.